Okay. DJ Shockley and Aaron Murray, I'm not sure you're going to get a better duo of Georgia quarterbacks, although David Green and Matthew Stafford are certainly up there as well. Shock saying to, uh, to Aaron on his um, – on the players' lounge, uh, uh, on a on a, on a players' lounge uh, broadcast, that Stetson is at the top, talking about who is the best quarterback all time in Georgia history. I think these two understand um, and have some clout on that front. And frankly, frankly, um, the two of them are in that discussion too. Uh, Shot goes on to say he's at the top of the list. I think it's hard to argue that because of what he's done these last two years. It is. I mean, well, he Stetson would cement that with another national championship, and I know the uh, the world is going to burn when I say this too. He would he would be up there as one of the greatest college for, uh, quarterbacks of all time. He just would, uh, because what you do on the field matters. And you know, AJ McCarron um, has got to be up there. When you win, you win, and that that. That's all there is to it. Uh, Scott Frost is you know, people think about that, um, that guy. But in the in the grand scheme of things, who is the greatest college football quarterback of all time? You know, Trevor Lawrence would have been able to make that that uh, that you know claim or argument. He didn't win two, um, and if Stetson doesn't win two, you're not going to really be able to have a, an intellectually honest conversation about this because in terms of you know, what What uh, physical attributes Stetson does not compare to some of, you know, the, the guys that are going to go number one overall. But in terms of just straight up winning, yeah, it's, it's hard to argue that he's not one of the best if he wins it all. If he doesn't, then we're just talking about the greatest at Georgia, which I think probably he, he would have to be considered that. I probably would still take Aaron. I think Aaron was um, just the, – the two guys talking here were exceptional quarterbacks at Georgia. And, uh, you know, Eric Zire was not before my time, but he really ushered in the modern Georgia quarterback. Um, it went from Eric to Mike and then to Quincy. Uh, and from Quincy to David Green, essentially um, – and from David to Shock, Shock to Matthew, uh, Matthew to Aaron. I'm skipping some guys here and there, but and then Aaron to to Jake Fromm. People said, "Why don't you talk about Jake Fromm?" I honestly forgot about Jake Fromm just then. Um, I don't mean it in a bad way, but I, I think I think you can't. I think when Georgia was trying to win with Jake Fromm, he didn't make the plays that Stetson did to win. Um, when, when Jake was making plays, Georgia lost those games, not because of him specifically, but that's just what it turned out to be. Um, I think it would have benefited Jake to come back one other season, frankly, but he didn't. And, um, you know, I think that if there, if there's a comparison here, the person that has, this is kind of a strange discussion, but, uh, the person who has hurt, uh, Jake Fromm's legacy the most has been Stetson Bennett. You know, Stetson came in and, and, um, you know, it was quite an adventure in 2020, but in 21 on, he's been a very good player for them. And and by the way, no one game from here on out is going to eliminate everything that Stetson's done and all of the sort of goodwill that he's had it, it created. You can still pick up Dog Struction. Uh, by the time you're watching this, I may be out of Keely Ringo books. I only have about, I, I have fewer than 20 left. So um, get them while you can. I will be out you know, probably by Friday because at, at the rate it's been selling, it's it just, they're just gone. Um, and I'm, you know, there's, there's, there's not any left. So dog destruction is still out there, uh, which is an awesome Christmas gift, but make sure that you're getting it sooner than later, sooner than later. Um, George has really had some very, very good quarterbacks since the turn of the century. So when Mike Bobo started recruiting guys uh, and, and Mark Rick, that's when Georgia really kind of, got moving with guys. Um, and Stetson, of course, is the the afterthought of all of these guys. I mean, he was not even as highly rated as, as Hudson Mason. So um, I think his age has helped a lot. I think his, 
you know, therefore maturity, his experience. You know, you have to remember, Stetson played a lot of football uh, at Jones Community College. Uh, and then, you know, he had played a little bit at Georgia before that. But he was just um, – this is a great image of Stetson that I got in 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 that twenty one season at the at the, at the UAB game. Um, I, I think his uh, ability to to lead, uh, not just by example, but by you know in, in the locker room and all that. His his experience playing his ability to make plays, but just, it doesn't seem like he panics a lot. I think that the uh, SEC championship game a year ago was a very difficult game for a lot of guys on that team. They seemed like they were ready to play and they weren't. They got up 10, nothing. And then Alabama just zoomed right past them. Uh, They really had to struggle during this time a year ago to think, Hey, you know, where should we really be right now? Shouldn't we have beaten Alabama? Uh, not the way Alabama played that day. <laughs> but, um, you know, the good news for the dogs was they, they got, they had earned the right to move on to the playoff and, and be the three. Now they're the one. And um, we've seen a lot of ones not win the national championship. It happens. Um, in, in fact, I would say, uh, it's happened more often than not. Uh, I'm actually going to look that up right now. Because, you know, s- several times the two, the two has won the national championship, uh, which is, you know, kind of strange. In 14, it was the four. In uh, 15, it was the two. In 16, it was the two. In 17, it was the four. In... Uh, in 19, it was the one. And and I will say that I think this team is much more like the LSU and Alabama teams of 19 and 20 than any other uh, groupings of uh, college football over, over the last few years. Uh, last year, obviously, uh, the three won it in Georgia. And um, I, I, I don't – there's nothing spectacular about this Georgia team uh as it relates to uh on the field you know like they don't look unbelievable it's just a steady grind and and he's a part of that stetson um he's not looked good at times this season i mean people talk about the kentucky game um he did not play well against kentucky i was at that game on the field and it was uh, the conditions were as bad as i've seen for a football game uh, maybe with the exception of the 2019 Kentucky game in Athens with the rain and the cold, or the uh, 2000, the 2000 Ole Miss game in Athens, which was much colder and much rainier than the Kentucky games that I mentioned. Uh, that was those, that, but that was an overwhelmingly challenging game to play in. Just the same way Ohio State's game with Northwestern was. I mean, like you know, they won that game 21 to seven. They did not play well. Um, they could not score. They didn't look good. Um, but, you know, Stetson got Georgia where they needed to go. I think the thing that bothers people about Stetson, there's there's a, there's a few things. A, it's the story. Either they don't like it, they're annoyed with it, or whatever. B, that he was a walk-on and that he became, you know, he kind of earned his way in and worked his way in. Or, you know, they just are so for talent that they, they they're 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 they 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 do not appreciate that he is very gifted. They they don't they don't see it because of our prejudice in general with people who are not big that play sports. Uh, they're dismissed quickly. I mean JJ Frazier comes to mind for me, but JJ Frazier is not in Stetson Bennett's universe. I mean, period. So. Uh, you can't really say the thing. And and JJ played hero ball way too much. Stetson doesn't do that anymore. That that's gone. But there's stuff he does that, you know, the it's the run stuff, not exclusively, but it's the running stuff 
that you're like, wow, this guy is trouble. You know, the Mississippi State run this season uh, where he, you know, the guy's, you know, jockstrap was on the ground because he couldn't, you know, keep up with Stetson uh, running past all of Auburn's football team or uh, a year ago against Tennessee um, or Arkansas or Auburn or whoever you want to talk about. You know, his running ability is significant. But his arm is not insignificant. I mean, you're talking about, uh, I am going to look up right now uh, the Heisman, the, the, the candidates and, and their, their statistics. Because, uh, you know, th- that group has, uh, is full of talented guys, no doubt. But, you know, Stetson hangs in there with them. I can't just easily do it because I was not prepared to do that. But, you know, Max Duggan, for instance, where is he at in terms of yardage? 33-21. That's not bad at all. Uh, Stetson Bennett, he is at 34-25, 20 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Max Duggan, 3,321 yards, 30 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Not bad. C.J. Stroud, Georgia's opponent, kid. We I think we all know how dangerous he can be. Uh, 3,300 yards, 37 touchdowns, six interceptions. It's amazing. Uh, and then obviously uh, Caleb Williams at SC, who plays a particular offensive style. You know, Georgia's a little different than a lot of these other guys in terms of their style. Well, I think Caleb Williams will win the award. It's hard to ignore 4,000 yards. So 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, four interceptions. I mean, that's that's a lot to deal with. C.J. Stroud, 3,340 yards, 37 touchdowns, six interceptions. That's pretty impressive. 33-21 for Max Duggan, 30 touchdowns, four interceptions. And then Stetson with 34-25 uh, in terms of yardage. So the second most in terms of yardage, but only 20 touchdowns and six interceptions. Um that that's a, that's a lot of passing yards for all of those guys. But I, you know, to circle back to what Shock and, and Aaron were talking about, you know, I would still take Aaron as my number one as a college quarterback at Georgia. But no, he he did not accomplish what Stetson has accomplished. And in addition, you know, we can play these games. What would Aaron do with this twenty-one and twenty-two offense? It'd be sick. What would Stetson do with the offense in 12, 13, and 11? They'd still score a lot of points. i tell you that right now. With Shock, you know, I mean, Stetson is closer to the way that Shock played than Aaron. I mean, Aaron was, and, and they're all, they're not dissimilar. None of those guys are really huge people. Like, I'm taller than all of them. I'm probably way more than all of them now, too. I, I better y'all better keep that weight off now i think all your linemen are keeping it off let's make sure we're keeping our weight off guys but um i'm talking to former athletes by the way but uh you know stinson a little bit more like shock i don't think any of them can run like uh can run like stetson i mean D- dj could run and eric could too by the way but man stetson's just so sudden with the way that he is. But I agree with him. I think he is the best quarterback all time at Georgia. And he will cement that if he wins his final two football games in Athens. Thanks for watching.